Yay, it is recording. Took a little bit longer to get to checking to make sure the file was there. Anyway, Immortals, Phoenix Rising, and uh, Q's Vied by Ubisoft, and I'm probably going to be doing lots of cleanup. In I'm sorry if you don't like this, but this is, this is how I play. You know, I, I, I try to clear through the map in basically every game, in part because I like knowing that I have everything and that, that is one thing I don't... If you're buying. Actually, yes, I should wait. Is any... You know, it's great to be back together, Hef. I missed you. Really? Athena? Yes, really. I never said it before, but you're a good friend. Remember the Trojan War? Who could forget it? Well, I could. But now that I have my memory... You had to face down Scamander. <laughs> My fire scorched the earth for days, evaporating the waters, sending everyone running. Well, those that didn't get consumed in the flame. I can still hear the people screaming. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, never forget the smell of their burning flesh. Ah, oh, good times. Good times. Well, that's creepy. Anyway, um... Yeah, one thing that I don't know if I will stick into the review. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah. So. Is. One thing that I do enjoy. Perfect. Um. Enjoy doing in game. Is reaching the point where I am basically overpowered. Um. That's kind of the case in Valhalla, where I was just so powerful that most threats were basically not that important. Um, so it becomes more about my applying my skills appropriately for using. You don't get that in this game. I mean, like, everything is just purple now, so everything is this higher level, and plenty of it is also still annoying. I mean, I, I'm fine with, and I, I was kind of saying that in, in a different part, I'm fine with the whole there being some purple, but the fact that there is no red, no blue, except for, like, single enemies, where it's like, wh how the hell is that guy there? I mean, it's like, except for that, I, I, I don't, I, I don't like this. It, it's, it's quite weird. There's also that up there. Um. Yeah, I, I think I am gonna have to. Do, I actually don't remember if I haven't. Should. Let me look at this. Uh. Yeah. But the whole. Yeah, the, I, 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 while sprinting, release them per se. It's like, that's really just stupid. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I mean, it's like, I, I'm, I would have been advocating for it. Let's just not have the attack. I mean, it, it's like, why would you do that? I mean, it's, except for the release, it's the same command as doing a completely different attack. What's the point? Aside from being messy. I mean, it, it, to me, that is messy. Th this whole, we've got two things that basically use the same exact controls. It's just a question of time. It's like, mm, not everyone's going to really be able to hit that timing. It No, this, I don't think it adds anything to the game except mess. But also, I will, I do want to add this because it's also relevant with the abilities. If I could disable some of these, I would. Like, I don't. It's a. Uh, I don't know about that one, but this one definitely. Uh, also, this one, because just by accident, I may hold it long enough for it to trigger that, and say like, I don't want to launch into the air. I, I very much don't want that. But it's the whole well. Then I don't get access to the master. 
You know, there, there are some games, I don't, none are coming to mind, where I have specifically selected not to get certain upgrades just so that I would not need to, um, <clears throat> sorry, would not need to uh, deal with certain abilities like You know, we're just... Um, but here, it's like, well, no, because then you don't get access to other things. Sorry, I really need to clean my throat. I cleared it too hard now, her. Um, that's what water is for. Actually, nope, okay. <clears throat> I was just about to say, I, I reached over as though to press, uh, yeah, yeah, um, <clears throat> I reached over as though to press arrow keys to see if that would scroll down. It doesn't. Um, forgetting for a moment there that, yeah, this this is a 60% board that I'm using. I don't think I've talked about that much. Uh, but I can. I mean, it's the same board that I use in the um, uh, Assassin's Creed review. The uh, one-up keyboards... Uh, Keyboard based on the uh, one up 60 HSE, the hot swap 60% ANSI layout board with uh, RGB backlighting. <clears throat> well, hang on. No, sorry, not backlight, underglow. See, backlighting will refer refers to like the keys themselves being backlit. That is not the case. Um, it is. Uh, just, uh, there's a total of, actually now I don't remember, 14 I think it, yeah, um, of 14 LED, uh, RGB LEDs on the base of the PCB, which I do use, um, even though the, the two plate, uh, carbon fiber kit, which I think aesthetically is great, I really do like the look of this, um, <clears throat> Yeah, it doesn't exactly let diffuse the light, though. Um, I would like to do some sort of mod, like getting a piece of acrylic or something in there, but anyhow. Um, and it does have the holes to, like, solder in LEDs for backlighting. I just haven't done that. But um, <coughs> that's what I'm using. And I do use those LED, the RGB LEDs. Um, I actually talked about it in the QMK article wrote up. Um, just I use them to identify the different uh, layers. Also caps lock. So like right now I've got a total of eight of them uh, lit up red to indicate that I have the review layer. Four red on both sides. But uh, I have... It is a little different from uh, its state when, do, when I was reviewing Valhalla. Because, yeah, the thing that, once this is done, I've got so many projects I need to get back to. One of them is to finish the write-up on uh, some mods I did to this keyboard. Mainly all I did was uh, <clears throat> modify the stabilizers. And oh boy, has it made a difference. A positive. Just the stabilizers had been uh, stock as in dry, and they rattled, they, well mainly, yeah, it was just the rattling. Um, also the space bar didn't always return. So I wanted to lube them, I also clipped them, and uh, did band-aid mod to, all, all three things would help with um, reducing noise, and oh, it, it made such a, it, it, it's, yeah.
this is this review is actually taking long enough. I may um because I wrote up like the procedure I did, but hadn't really gotten to results yet. Because uh, I wanted to spend some time with it, make sure this thing settled. Like the yeah, when I first built the keyboard, the uh, spacebar didn't always return properly. It got better over time. I don't remember why it just got. Um. No, I got that. Is that it? No. Yeah, add that. I do not know. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, when I first built the board, the spacebar didn't always return, which I blamed on the stabilizers. Not necessarily incorrect on that, but... Um, I, uh... When I lubed them, they wasn't always returning. But just continuing to use them just like before, much better now. Having no issue returning. And still using the, um, though now they've technically been shuffled around because I pulled them out. The, uh, Gaze, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, actually, but the Bubble U4 silent tactile switches, I like. I do like. They certainly are quiet, and I like the feel. Yeah, which does actually have me looking forward to the, um, when I get to the novel key blueberries. Which will be in the NK65 when I do that. Because there's also a tactile switch. So it's just, I am looking forward to being able to do that comparison. Because that I like tactile switches does not surprise me. But I would like to know how much it might be that I like these switches or that I like tech house switches. That's why I'm looking forward to that as I don't know if it's intentional or just coincidence, but it seems like every time that I get that animation, near the it, the music stops when <clears throat> she, she hits, and it's like, ow! Yeah. That is a little annoying that these things, some of these things don't appear until you zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna scan around, but it currently looks like I have the grove clear. There's apparently a... Oh, yeah, I already knew that. Did already find it. Um... Go back to tracking that. I really do not mind that much when it's the ambrosia that I find... That I didn't uh, get before while scanning. Yeah, I, I and I did make this note that I do wish that it did somehow um Sorry, I was just bringing up that. Um that would somehow indicate but somehow give you a way to improve the the far sight. And I don't I mean, it could be some way to better indicate that oh, this is where there is stuff. Um Increasing the the, the the area that you know you can reveal something from. So 
Like, th there are multiple paths I can see to that, and it's just I, I wish that I had them. Do it further to go. I see it up there. Just, otherwise, I feel like I need to do this, which is you know, drive compression in some people crazy. And I do also think, what? I have that more. Well, where is it? Oh, okay. No, I don't care about that. One. Um. But yeah, just something to that situation of finding the stuff. And I, I, as I said, pretty sure it would have been in the previous part. I'd be perfectly okay if it's, um, like you beat the game and it reveals stuff. I'd be fine with that. That. Although, hey, my, my guess is we are going to have two things happen. One is going to be the, the conclusion for Family Emergency. So that'll be King's Peak, and then, um, uh, and then dealing with Typhon, uh, over there, the Gates of Tartarus. That's my guess. I could see it being fair that, like, after Family Emergency, assuming that it's, like, straight then to Gates of Tartarus, um, that being how you, um, get the something to make the finding of, of stuff easier. So it's like, you know, to prepare you for your battle with Typhon, here's everything on the map. And, and I will also grant that, you know, th this... and not... Remember, how do they do it in, in Far Cry? But the whole... I'm okay with the whole sync point reveals everything. Never... That's never bothered. But I do understand the people that don't like how that has become the standard for Ubisoft games and many others. It's like, I, I, I do understand. Um... I don't have to share that complaint, but I do that, shouldn't say complaint, that criticism. It, it really is just a criticism. Um, I, I just, there we go. There. There. Um, oh, yeah, I also need to here and do that. How did I... Why do I feel like I tried that? Huh. Okay, you know what? Clear. Some way to quickly clear. It would also be appreciated. Okay. Here is... What I'm thinking. Here. Um, so getting back to the thing I was 
the point I was trying to make that I know I was making poorly. I'm, I'm, I was good with sync points. I'm good with this, but this does need some way to improve it. And it could be, I, I just, I can't remember right now if there are other Ubisoft games that do it this way. I do not doubt that there are plenty of other games out there that, um, do use a system like Farsight. Um, I just, I can't remember them that are coming to mind. I do feel like, um, Shadow of War or Shadow of Mordor had something like that. Because I, I want to say I remember aiming with the map, you know, like, pulling up the bow and aiming at things to mark them. Well, to have them appear. But it's been a while, so I don't, don't quite remember for sure. I know this place, the commemoration of the disastrous union of Hephaestus and Aphrodite. It's not that bad, it's... No, it was bad. Ah! What were you and Hera thinking? I wanted Aphrodite to settle down and stop chasing pointless hookups. I did what I thought a good father figure should do. I know you tried. Maybe matchmaking's just not your thing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a fair way to put it. Um. Okay, I. See. But yeah, it just, I do feel that that, so that, that hopefully I will put into the, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. Uh, Oh, wait, yeah, that's true. I figure it might be over on uh, King's Island. King's Peak, sorry. I was hitting one button, I was hitting five. isn't it? Perfect. I do need to kill the last legendary thing. Do I still have a, a lieutenant? I know I, I know there's a legendary kill that I still need, and this would be...
Perfekt. That is actually kind of... Yeah, it's a weak different colors there, but I just kind of like better. I'm not sure why it's not letting me mark it. Huh, interesting, that's still good show. Oh, I guess it might be a fast travel point. Okay, yes. Definitely want to hit the red first because that one keeps annoying. <laughs> I just, I keep seeing it on the map, it's like, why haven't I done that one yet? Are you serious? Oh, okay. I was like, seriously, why haven't I done this one yet? Oh, wait, the gate. Yeah. One... Well, no, I was here, so by the way. Yeah, that to that to that. The path I'm going to yeah. I have no idea how it launched how it got launched into the air by the way
It's that one I'm going to the east, the north, north, fast travel there to get that. See, something else is that I don't know what the range is on this. Because I have a, feeling, have a feeling that as part of it is that there are things where it's like, I, uh... Okay. So it is, I just spotted that. Um... It's like, I, I feel that there's range involved, so there are things that maybe I am looking at the right spot, but because I'm too far away, I cannot reveal them. Unfortunately, the only way I can think of that would be... Visually clear would be if at like a certain distance, and this would work in Assassin's Creed game if it you know went to like a matrix view, um, you know like you know past this distance the animus isn't rendered so you can't see the things like that wouldn't make much sense here, but um, a visual indicator like that I feel would be a positive to know the way. Been over there? Yes, I have. So I want to get that, then I'll get this one, then I'll fast travel here and get those. And probably end at the Liar. And then fast travel up here and grab that stuff and try to do that, that one vault. Which is also really weird to me. Why was I leaving? I feel like there was another vault where I did that. But where I left it. Oh wait, no, is that how I... That might have been how I ended last night. I'm sorry. Last night was late. So I don't remember all of it that well. It's like, I, I think I stopped at like 12.46am and I don't like being up that late. Especially since I need to stay up then to get some of the processing stuff going for the the video <laughs> means I, I gotta have the audio process first by F of MPEG then I have audacity process it because there are things that FMPEG does that audacity does not and vice versa So, yeah, I need to do that, and it's kind of slow. Um, and then 
actually set the video to process. There. There now. Which one? I can fast. Yeah, I can. Um. But yeah, so with FMPEG, I use the loudness normalization. So that way, so long as the mic picks it up, basically, it will be put to the same loudness, roughly. So it doesn't matter if I'm really close to the mic, if I'm really far away from the mic, if I'm loud or if I'm quiet. It doesn't matter, it'll all work out. Um, uh, and then I also use... Uh, that, that's something that uh, FMPEG has, Audacity does not. And then Audacity has auto ducking, which I think I saw that there are ways of getting FMPEG to do it, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass. So I've never really uh, bothered with that. Um, so once I get through all that, then I have, uh, the file, and I can, uh, the Nessie file, and then, uh, FMPEG can get to work actually across the video. Fortunately, the loudness normalization stuff is actually pretty quick. Like, I think yesterday was going at like 20 times speed, but Audacity is not so quick. But it does get the job done that I need it to get done. It'll be not. I think that they are trying to, though I haven't seen an update in quite a while, trying to make it so you can uh, script Audacity. But I was also looking at, into some of what they had there, and it's like, this is a god awful mess. Because it just involved various piping stuff with Python, and it's like... I look, I'm looking at the example, and I don't understand half of it, and I try to like do the example itself, like copy and paste, and it still wouldn't work. I mean, it just... Nothing's wrong with a good CLI, just saying... I mean, it's like, that. that it's beautiful. Instead of being reliant on using special Python piping stuff, if it's just... You know, you have a CLI you, so that all the commands can just be given even by a goddamn shortcut. It's really nice. Because then also it's a, hey, you can do it in batch, you can do it in Python, you can do it however the hell you want. I was like, the, the, yeah, what I actually use for processing the video are batch files. But I have Python scripts that will automate the application of the batch file. Why? Because a batch is very easy to read. I mean, legitimately, that is part of it. Also, I already had them made, and I saw no reason to try to translate them over to Python. But it's like, no, the, the batch files, they work, and they are pretty easy to read. So I keep them. And I just have Python scripts that will, based on what it is I want to do, find the stuff and do it. Like, um, for processing these videos, I have it look into the review playthrough folder and it searches for uh, the video and the audio, which I'm pretty sure I only have that set up to find FLAC, because that's how I have Audacity export the, the audio, is as a FLAC file. Um, and it's like, okay, the finding of the stuff, that is all Python. But the actual running of the commands, that's a uh, batch file. So I can also just drag and drop then onto the batch file if I wanted to. 
I don't want to. It doesn't really come up that I need to. But that, that's how I do it. The uh, stuff I have for um, the heart rate recordings I do, where I uh, play a game and record my heart rate in real time, um, and then overlay a, a, a graph in there. That's even more complicated because I have that set up so that it can either work with a FLAC file or it'll load up a different batch file be if it sees that no, I already uh, converted to a uh, M4A file. So AAC, in which case then it can basically just be directly stuck into the MP4 out, uh, output that I want. Whereas for the other, it will. Um, uh, um, <clears throat> with the flak, it needs to translate. It needs to re-encode it. Transcode it. Uh, but yeah, it just... It might be a silly approach to some, but it really is a... Damn, that annoys me. There's two. <laughs> I've only found the one. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea where the other one could be. It's also weird you don't have a compass in this view. Anyone else think that? Yeah, I'm just it's fast travel. Pick up those things. Call the gods. Um Yeah. That'll basically finish things off then before go well. I'm just thinking with King's Peak, how do I wanna handle? Um, like, do I want to just focus on the mission in King's Peak, or do I want to actually, um, uh, you know, clear things for Huh. I kind of see the idea here. This one. Ooh. Okay, good. They do stop. Oh. I was half expecting them to, to be moving. To, to keep moving when you're blocking the, the airflow. <clears throat> Once I get this in place, then I'll mark the thing. And that should be the only one. I didn't even notice that. I, I was looking forward. Got it. 
There. Okay, not white. Should not have. Well, it doesn't matter. It Had a feeling. Because when that one is blocked, your focus is elsewhere. There. Nope, block it. Alright, now I don't. That was very stupid of me to do. I should not have jumped that early. I got lucky.
here. That's why I thought Polyphemus, I do remember that. I was really hopeful. Maybe I'll be able to hit them both with the stealth attack now. I figured it would still only be a two, but I still wanted to look it's a nice looking hole. Wait, no, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it.
Okay, it's just the poop. But that being a wealth chest, maybe I'll get lucky. We'll make our mark on the golden iron. Ah. Let us be able to fill it in later. Oh, okay then. It just seems like every time I run into th those soldiers, um, Typhon summons enemies. Did not get so low. Alright, um... Well, my knowledge is nothing left on the main island. It would be really nice if you could hide all the completed ones, wouldn't it? That's the one that's inaccessible for now. there has to be one more of the song things here, which does annoy me. But, yeah.
judgmental again, Athena? Give us your opinion on fighting Ares during the Trojan War. What's to tell? It wasn't close. It wasn't close to being close. Well, Ares would argue it wasn't exactly a fair fight. True. For a fair fight, you'd need me to turn into a child again. Oof. Do I have any? What do I have? Yes. And that right there is a reason to, to do all the exploration is to max out your health before this stuff. Because, I mean, I know I'm getting to the end. Um... We've got 13 there, so that's going to be worth Spending some on. But I also... Since I have no further use for the red, it's definitely worth doing that. You know, now I'm actually kind of curious. Okay, the sword. I guess I did see that before. Oh, I forgot to do that. And that gives me enough, too. Where's the last... Um... Let's look at this. Hmm. What's that cast? What? Yeah. I mean, it does look neat, but I'll, I'll keep to it. And now I can upgrade that. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so close on that. Shut of that. Now here. Oh, I do have three. Perfect. bad idea. I know it's a bad idea. I want to do it. I want it. I want to go into the gates of Tartarus just enough to reveal stuff. <laughs> it's like, at this point, I'm certainly strong enough that I don't need to worry about the enemies there too much. But, yeah, it, it's just... I want to reveal stuff. I'm trying to figure out the best path there. Straight ahead. Because it's like, it, it, maybe I'll find the, the, the moon thing. What the heck? That's a big cyclops. I think I have just one more mythical. Maybe that's it. There we go. Yeah, that did look like a larger Cyclops than me. And 
And there certainly were plenty of them in the mythology. So it's like it being the last mythic would make some sense. Hmm. There's more lightning. So maybe it is. Hmm. Yeah, I would have gotten some sort of cough. I mean, he's nothing special, so I don't, I don't want to fight. Nothing else feel. Okay. Because nothing is being revealed. I'm not gonna enter. Uh although I will do this. Fast travel there so I can scan the other side. Because if it's like I see uh, one of the, the night chests, I will do that. But otherwise, I will wait. Because I'm guessing it will be by story that the area's uh, fog of war will be removed. Still doesn't think anything is there to reveal. Okay. Oh, there is something. Hang on. No. Nope. Although, wait, wait. Okay, that is, is within, within that. That's I'm gonna get. This is not going to work too well. Just, I, I know I'm going to come up short here. All this time, I thought I knew my kids. I didn't know anything. Weren't you busy running the universe? I wish that were true, but no. I was busy having fun at everyone's expense, and now the bill has come to you. I know I got the quest and all that, but um, I want the fast travel. <laughs> kind of important. Actually, no, this is perfect. Because I just need the, the uh, magma thing. The, n not magma thing, the molten fragment from it.
That timing was a bit tight. Thing's not gonna pop yet because I actually have to leave I have to complete the vault for. But I do have now all of the molten fat. At least I'm pretty sure I only need the. Yeah, there's two of the moon chests left, but there's only the one of these. Wasn't it? Yeah, just need to turn that in. Um. Okay. Weird. Oh, this is for that. Four, two, three. Um. Yeah. I can't scout, so I don't. I don't know where. Well, I can't fast travel to the liar. Should be able to spot it. Let me. Nope.
And we'll admit I said that without having any idea of my stamina, actually. Cause... with me, Prometheus? It's a quote, Zeus. Relax. Okay. The embosure is on the wing. is the scout point. It makes sense because it's always the giant statues in the area and the ones that appear on the map image. But oh man, I'm still so happy. I finally found it. As the cold wind whistled in Phoenix's ears, she eyed the tower and mountain. Look at how much I've revealed. But you know what isn't there? Ah, a night jump. Or two, as I actually do.
interesting. It's so cold. Don't worry, Phoenix. My passion will light the fires above you. Seek them out to stay warm. Any chance I can get a little of that burning passion? Not even if you were Adonis, Achilles, and Heracles having an orgy on a Pegasus made of rainbows. This is definitely inspiring a sculpture of despair. <laughs> That'll be the only thing you get out of this conversation. Huh. First, let me... See you there, Peg. Down, down, down. Yeah, I'm not sure of the path I'm supposed to take. I guess this way. Prevent Phoenix from reaching the top of the mountain. Don't let him stop you! Phoenix! You've got this! You're rooting for me now? Interesting that some already played.
Oh, wait. Seriously? <laughs> I was thinking I needed to find water to come up there. Ah, oh, well. So I do need to go down. Last one's probably a week. Yeah, so not switch torches, just, um, you know, safety torches. You fight him, horse. Look, it's a statue of your god, Kronos. Oh. 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 
Stop it! He tried to eat you, for goodness sake. My Mamria gave him a stone instead. Now I'm thinking she shouldn't have bothered. <sighs> You're right. Wow! That's harsh! No, I, I meant, isn't that statue supposed to have a stone in its hand? Now that you mention it.
If he'd eaten you, Demeter, Hestia, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon would all be in his stomach right now. You saved them. Correction. Oh. I doomed them to eternal life with me. Which is worse? Hades certainly loves you. Yeah, he gave me two whining for us to take home. Is that love? Another three brothers Hades is also. Whoops. Um where am I going? This was plus four, the other thing was plus ten. Wow. Phoenix never did that. I admire that. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Forget it. You should totally be able to light those up. Lightning from my forge to help warm your way. Thank you, Hephaestus. And yet I've been waiting for that diamond-tipped spear I commissioned for ages. Inspiration doesn't come on command, Ares. But you do. That was a private experiment in animal behavior we will not be repeating. Below, the Golden Isle looked almost peaceful. Don't stop to admire the view, Phoenix. You're nearly there. Got to beat the gear on. For weeks, while the world burned, while my kids needed me, I was parting with Hades. Gods, no, I was never there for her. You had a lot on your mind. I don't even know where she is right now. That's pretty bad. Sorry. Is that a setup? I'm saying I don't think this is Legare. I've mentioned that in previous parts as well. So I'm just kind of wondering.
Phoenix was determined to reach the top. The sight of the peak gave Phoenix hope. But this part is boring. Maybe I should skip it? Prometheus, just tell the story. Although, actually, maybe I... Yep. I was just thinking, I'm on the other side of the mountain, so maybe... Suddenly, monsters appear! The action! The excitement! Just stop it, Prometheus. Stop. Don't try to cheer me up. Ah! I and I'm comfortable. I just kept cheating on Hera. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't want to be a father. I didn't think about anyone but myself. Ah, these chains are hurting. We're talking about me right now, Prometheus. <laughs> This is annoying. Um, okay, I guess I climb up the statue? Well, no. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is how you get back up. I just away. <sighs> Suddenly, a pearl rolled past. Phoenix wondered if the oyster was using clamouflage. Prometheus, please. Stop. It's so bad. It's like you went to some kind of clown school. <sighs> Flunked out, turned to telling jokes through interpretive dance, and mistook your audience's cries of pain for laughter. Actually, I do feel a little better now. I'm saving that one, because... Uh... I, that well, no, that could go in the additional media game, additional gameplay media. So. Well, maybe not because it does. I'd have to check what they don't want. Boil. 
and if it includes like basically just even knowing that Legion is still alive, supposedly. And I don't trust it. But uh yeah. I may be only one one thousand of a I am I'm also guessing that the storm will uh, break later. Will be removed so that you can't really explore. I really hope that's that. During her catless yeah! traversal, Phoenix was ambushed. I can't face all of these and beat the Giron. Got your back, Phoenix. Hear the battle cry of Ares, and feel your blood boil! That's the kind of blood boiling he meant. There's clearly something down. Hmm. Figure it out later, I guess.
How close? Yeah, it must just be down. Yep, right there. an elaborate representation of the fiery wheel of King Ixion. Oh yes, the king was strapped to a fiery wheel for all eternity because he tried to seduce my wife. Meanwhile, I had my pick of any woman or man I wanted. What a hypocrite I am. At least he was also a murderer. Of course he was. He's Ares' son. And I just insulted Ares again. It's too easy. Tricked him with a cloud instead? Yes, I thought it was hilarious. How irresponsible. They had a kid who was deformed, constantly ostracized and rejected by mortals, to the point that he ended up only finding peace with horses. Laying with horses, he died sad and alone. Horses he lay with gave birth to the centaurs. Sexy horse people that make us half uncomfortable and have to be questioned. Try again. It's right here.
That leaves one more, right? And depending, that would actually make sense for uh, uh, being in the gates of Go ahead, drop. There we go. made it. Oh, that's worth more than four. Venus was also the goddess of prophecy and helped me hone my skills. That woman could help. Let the lightning from my hammer strike warm your way.
button. I broke it now. I know it's over there, but I I, I want to look over here. So I'm gonna look over here first.
no, that that's there. Not sure why that time it actually had me like already diving. Because I've been wanting that. It's been annoying. <laughs> How many times I, I want that and it's like, no. Nah. Well, this sucks. I didn't realize that th there was a path here. But I need this. And this. The constellation of justice, shining over mortals, symbolizing your power, O Zeus, to weigh their actions. That takes me back. Remember when I created them? First, the Titans roamed the Earth. You and me and the other gods defeated them. Those were good times, Zeus. Yes, they were. Then it was safe to make mortals. First, I tried fashioning them out of gold. They were perfect. It was so boring, so I ended them. Next, with I Endor, tried by the way. There's how the gold They were so nice. dumb, they just kept hurting themselves. So then, I used brass. That was a huge mistake. They just kept fighting each other until they no longer existed. And then, there was the fourth race. The heroes. They were just awesome. Love those guys. What did you fashion them out of? That was the problem. I lost the recipe card. So that brings us to now. The fifth age. I made them of iron. The best of the lot. Well, you better think so. If you hadn't stolen fire from the gods to give to those puny mortals, you wouldn't be here. Chained to a rock. You know you have the power to change that, right? You put me here? The Iron Mortals were a problem from the start, and they got worse with each generation. 
I'm already thinking of trying grape juice for the sixth. Or olive oil. Everyone loves that. What was wrong with the Iron Mortals exactly? The decadence, the selfishness, forgetting to wash their hands. They pursue pleasure and power single-mindedly and defy or create authority. They're too extreme and too messy. Sounds a lot like you. Hey, I guess it does. The world before Zeus was a place of chaos and suffering. It's the same now, too. I've accomplished nothing. <laughs>